And that's a conversation we've, we're really just starting to have in Arlington. And that's the conversation we have to have. So it's not about school choice. It's not about Burn Burn Academy. It's really this whole thing and, and everything we're talking about is, you know, where do we want Arlington in 2019? And we should consider all options. School officials in Arlington have been grappling for a while about where their school district fits in with other possible dance partners under Act 46, the landmark school consolidation statute passed in 2015. The arrangement that seems to be gathering the most traction lately is one where the Arlington School District would team up with three other so-called non-operating districts, Sandgate, Stratton, and Winhall, to form a so-called three-by-one district, allowed under a follow-up law, Act 49, designed to give school districts more flexibility in forming consolidated entities. Those three merged districts, plus Arlington, would then become part of the Bennington-Rutland Supervisory Union and the existing Battenkill Valley Supervisory Union, which consists of Arlington and Sandgate, would then dissolve. William Basic, the newly appointed interim superintendent of the Battenkill Valley Supervisory Union, told Arlington school directors and residents attending the school board meeting on Wednesday, July 26th, that the district was currently in a holding pattern until the other three districts finalized their articles of agreement, which might occur at some point in August. When and if that happens, Arlington would then have a pathway forward, which would preserve the district and allow the community to determine whether or not they wish to continue as a pre-kindergarten through 12th grade district operating its own high school. So the next step to Arlington would really be that month of September would be really when we kick up the Act 46 and Act 49. In short, we would want to wait and see what happens over the next month and then go ahead and have a community forum in September. Another alternative might be to close the high school and become a so-called school choice town, where Arlington's high school students attended other secondary schools, such as Burn Burden Academy. At their previous board meeting on July 11th, directors discussed a letter received from Seth Bongartz, the chairman of Burn Burton's Board of Trustees, which aimed to make it clear that Burn Burton would be one option available to the school district if they wanted to move in a school choice direction. That led to a discussion about the pros and cons of that, which continued into their meeting on the 26th. Essentially, through this letter, um, providing a, a path to Arlington to not operate our high school and <clears throat> go with a choice model for That's exactly what. But that's the thing I think we need to prepare ourselves for because if we do, this is a threat. This is a threat to us. Not, I mean, he's not writing it as a threat, yeah, but I it is a, it's, it's not, I think it's not a threat. I think the reality he's not is, right, but it is, if, it's if because we they can't operate, ensure that we provide. They operate as an academy, but they take taxpayer dollars. So I, they can bend whatever rules they want and not play the same game that we have to play. There are a lot of advantages for students who choose to go there. And sure. I think I think the thing we need to I be mindful that. of is they have already lured <laughs> a number of our students. And so if if we can't provide what those students are looking for here, whether it's BBA or Long Trail or something else, we're going to continue to lose those students. And, and so I think that's the I would decision. Love it. Yes. But if the community said, <laughs> we are absolutely committed to our high school, and we want to ensure that we not only provide great education for the students who live here, but we become a school of choice for anyone who lives in any other town that people would want to send their kids here, that's going to take community commitment to be able to make that happen because it's going to be, we're going to have to think differently. A tremor, probably a good tremor in a way of getting people wanting to be involved when the Burton Burton Academy letter came down from Seth. Uh, however, and, and, I, and I do want to make this point, and I'm happy people show up, it's really not, in my opinion, a school board issue or a superintendent's issue. We are here to facilitate a community uh, forum on Act 46, Act 49. The letter did specifically state, uh, and it would be, in my opinion, uh, if the voters, not the school board, not the superintendent, wanted to pursue school choice. Uh, that's really what we're talking about. We're not talking about tuitioning students to uh, Burn Burn Academy. What we're talking about is going to a 9 through 12 choice, school choice model. Uh, and again, that would be something we would want tremendous amount of feedback from, uh, from the community uh, in a community forum, because ultimately it would be the, that community forum and some type of study committee that would, that would weigh in on that. 
The upshot of the discussion was that transitioning to a school choice model was a decision that had to be made by the Arlington community as a whole, not the school board. And a community forum to assess that idea has been discussed for some time in September to gauge community sentiment around what would be a major change for the town. Susan Jennings, an Arlington resident, spoke to that point at the meeting. My opinion, Arlington needs to stay Arlington. You know, we have to figure out, I'm not for closing down our 9 to 12 school and going to Burn Burton or making it a school choice. It might be fine for some, but Arlington is proud of what we have here. I think we need to build on that. I think we need to stay true to who we are. It, it affects so many people's lives. At the teachers, the administration, you know, I, I went to school, I'm a fourth generation here. I think it's so important that we really listen to the town. The town is the people that put you all up there. The town is the one that has the budget and we should have that say. Um, I think that we really should stay and listen. Um, I'm not a fan of even writing anything to Burn Burton and saying maybe we might be in pushing someone to that area. I mean, I, I, I just, I don't understand what our other options might be, but I know that we can merge, if we're merging and we're going to the BRSU, we can still stay as the school, if I'm understanding that correctly. So Following the proposed community forum, Arlington would then continue with its own self-study. Driving all of this is the reality that under Act 46, if towns don't sort themselves into larger consolidated entities, the state will assign them new partners by 2019. The board therefore held off on making a formal response to the Burn Burton letter at their meeting on the 26th. In a separate interview, Bongarts described what had prompted his board to reach out to the Arlington School officials. We sent the letter now because we know that because of Act 46, Arlington's at a decision point. It may not be an immediate decision point, but we just wanted the people of Arlington to know that sending their children to Burn Burton for high school is an option for them. Uh, they've got a few options, I suspect. Uh, we're not trying to say what they should or shouldn't do, but it's just we didn't want there to be any lack of understanding of the fact that uh, Burn Burton would welcome the students, from all the students from Arlington, should they decide they wanted to come to Burn Burton. We know that there's been rumors that, for instance, that people have said from time to time, Burn Burton doesn't want the kids from Arlington. I, can't imagine where that came from, why anybody would ever say that or think that, but I know it's been said. We wanted we want to make crystal clear that if the people of Arlington would like their kids to have the option of coming to Burn Burton, we would welcome them like we welcome the students from Danby, Mount Tabor, Langrove, Peru, wherever. Um, so um, the other, just to make crystal clear that we take every student um, who wants to come from one of our sending towns. We just wanted to make those things clear talk about some of the things we can offer students, just again to, to uh, put it on the table and have there be full understanding of what, uh, what the option really means. And um, we've also offered to come and should the board want us to uh, meet with them or people of Arlington, whatever fashion makes sense, not, not to try to influence or say you should do this or that, but just to explain what it would mean. That's it. In the end, any governance change, whether it's the three by one option or something else, such a school choice will have to be voted on and approved by community members, Superintendent Basic said, after the meeting, and summed up where he saw the BBA overture landing at the moment. We have to figure out direction, regardless of, of any proposal of school choice or not school choice. By uh, uh, July 1st, 2019, things will be different in Arlington. There's no difference about that. The state has made it very clear that they are not uh, one that are going to look the other way now as they did in Act 153 and some others. I think if you go around the state right now that Act 46 is for real. So something's going to be different in uh, 2019 here in Arlington and we just have to be ready for that. For the GNA TV News Project, I'm Andrew McKeever.